So, so Ken's take on how to raise a son so that they're not too soft and not to be a bully. This is a very important because men who are comfortable with both their masculine and feminine side are balanced. Most young men, unfortunately in the black household, are brought up by women because you have a lot of single parent um, families because, you know, the system we live in, a lot of the men may be absent in jail um, or just, just not around. So the woman tends to grow up, the, the, you know, the boys, um, and sometimes they become more leaning towards their feminine or feminine side. So to balance it out, yes, it's good to be in touch with your, 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 your feminine side as well, which gives you that um, sensitivity. Um, and, 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 you know, women, because women are kind of more emotionally based, it makes you more emotional, more sensitive to the needs of women. However, you have to also know that you're not there to kind of like constantly just beckon and jump to the call of, or the wimps of women because that can become toxic. So you need to balance it out with the masculine side. And, and this is where the father or the men come in um, and... As I said, it has to be balanced, but you need to know how to be masculine or be a masculine, and that's to be able to know when to say no to women, for say, for for for, uh, for example, not just always be accessible, always available, and you know when they want you, you run. They say jump, and you say how high. No, that's a man being a masculine has to be a leader, has to be able to know that you know their role in in the um, relationship is to be the provider, the protector, you know, so um, uh, a young man, young man, a young boy has to be taught this. Yes, it's good to train, but not to the point where it's obsessive and you're just like in the gym all the time and just pushing weight. So it's about, yes, being strong and able to protect, learning how to do martial arts and certain things that you can protect yourself and your family, but at the same time, not to become a bully because you get men that just walk around, you know, like just stiff and all it's about is how many people they can knock out and then they don't, they lose the other side of being balanced enough to know that you're not meant to be bullying people, you know, you're supposed to be a protector, a provider. And so there's two sides to it, left and right brain, which ultimately give you the balance. But yeah, we don't want our boys to become you know what I mean, soft, because um, that can also lead to what we're facing at the moment, right? So Ken's take on the, you know, LGBT, um, so many alphabets and I'm losing count, but this is where people are being told they can, <clears throat> it's okay to be feminine, like wear a skirt or identify with being a tree or a bench or, you know, you can't say things like a pregnant woman anymore. You have to say pregnant folk because of this whole androgynous um, agenda by, you know, these beings from Andromeda. So it's very important to know what a man's role is and what a, a woman's role is and to know that they go hand in hand and you have to work together. This is why in the relationship, both the male and the female parents have to know that they have to work together and know that a woman can't teach a boy what a man can teach a boy and that a man can't teach a woman or a girl what a woman can teach her. So it's the working together in unity that brings about balanced children that as boys you're not too feminine and too, too weak um, but at the same time, you're, not, you're also not a bully and controlling and being aggressive and not having the, do you know what I mean, the con connection with your feminine side, which can be able to be emotionally intelligent, sensitive, knowing, you know, how to deal with women when they're going through the emotional, um, you know what I mean, roller coaster. You still have to maintain balance and still be able to be sensitive enough and caring enough and compassionate enough to be able to deal with them based on the fact that they're emotional beings. 
So it's about the balance, and that's my take. It's a Ken's take on bringing up boys and girls.